Yeah. Uh, what What do you think it's going to be like to be on the other sideline for this game? And uh, is, is there anything you're maybe looking forward to that you didn't get to experience at Auburn? Um, you know, I'm I'm excited about the opportunity for our guys to go play. And there's a lot of really uh, good people over there that I, I spent a lot of days with, um, and so there's a lot of meaning with that. But they also know. Um, in the, in the job of what you're trying to go do on Saturday. And um, I'm excited to, to, to be in this uh, environment. I think it's going to be a great environment. Um, and our players are as, too, are as well. And I think it's, it's going to be a, a great spectacle of college football. And we obviously want to go and uh, end up on the right side of it in the right way. What was your experience just kind of with this game when you were at the other, when you were at Auburn just to build up and everything? You know, Cadillac Williams was uh, the head coach at that point, and so um, obviously uh, at that point of the season, uh, it was it was great to be around him and see just him uh, lead the, the place that he played at. Um, as a former college football player, that's obviously a point of pride for him. Um, but there's a, obviously a lot of, uh, uh, of emotion around this game every, every year because I, I know when I was I recruited Quay Russo when I was at at Auburn, and so and James Smith, and so it just there's so much around this game in terms of just the relationships, not only the people on the field, but the people off the field as well. Uh, what have you seen from Auburn's running back so far? Uh, you know, Jarquez, uh, Damani, um, Jeremiah, those are, those are guys that um, I recruited all of them. And being, not, 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 not Jarquez, but just being on the team with him. And uh, they're great people, but they're really good football players. I think this is uh, the best backfield that we'll face all year. Um, they, they do a great job of, uh, of running downhill. They're, they're very physical backs, um, and they make people miss. And the, young, the younger back, Jeremiah, uh, he's done a good job of a lot of perimeter plays. They get him the ball, special teams, things like that. Um, this, I believe this is the best group that we faced all season. And, uh, and, and those are, I know in those kids personally, they're, they're built that way, and I've, I've vocalized that to our guys. These are great, great people, and they play the game the way it's supposed to be played. You've got to play to a certain level anytime you're playing someone like that. What went into the decision to move to the Baron Wolf and just how do you think he played and how, how did he respond to that? Uh, he's, he's done a great job. I think a lot of times, um, and I, I think at some point during the fall camp, we talked about you know guys learning different positions. The good thing about our defense is a lot of it's conceptual learning. You, know, you understand the drop, you understand the gap responsibility, a pressure, um, and there's a lot of carryover. And I think that's why guys like Jihad, McQuay, um, you know, uh, Q Robinson were able to move around because you're teaching them the fundamentals of the scheme and, how, and what techniques to use. And uh, Jamarin was using those same uh, techniques at certain times for Coach Roach, and it was very easy. I think there was only a couple things he really had to teach him. And uh, I was really surprised and, and encouraged of what he did. And uh, I think it shows people that, you know, you, you can teach somebody something in our system and they can go and, and do it and execute. And he did a great job on Saturday for us. And, um, he's added depth to our room. You know, obviously some guys that losing Q Robinson and uh, and allowing us to have some depth because they understand the scheme. And so I'm really proud of him. Talk about your familiarity with some of those Auburn guys, Auburn mm -hmm. running backs. Yeah. How much does that help you, or is it not, not that big of a deal? Uh, to me, I think anytime you have an understanding of the opponent, who they are, how they tick, um, you know, the, the type of things that you observed. Um, I think it paints a clear picture, especially of you know what you to expect when you recruit kids. You kind of know their demeanor. Um, that can be something that you just educating guys. And, you know, talk about Jarquez. He's a, a team, great team leader over there. That guy works works his tail off and everything. And just saying that this is somebody that's going to be a great opponent. I think it's just preparing them. It's not somebody that's going to you know give away the game with their their maybe antics at times. This is somebody that plays it the right way, and, and he was always that way when I was there. I think it's painting a picture of what you're about to face and uh, how making sure your mind is in the right place. Last two for Coach. You've been on both sides of this, obviously. You know, a lot of back and forth. We've seen some from the Auburn side this year. Mm -hmm. Just what's kind of your take on the, you know, sort of the trash talk and maybe, you know, how your side kind of tries to approach that in, in sort of staying locked in on what you're doing internally rather than, you know, answering stuff about the other team. Yeah, not, not to be cliche, but I think anytime there's a passionate game, it always ends up being about you um, and making it a focus of what do I have to do and improve? We have our own set of things that um, we did not like about how we performed. And so the work is, is really on us to be able to go execute. And so in those moments, I think we gravitate back to that and focus on that. And we got young kids that obviously uh, they probably pay attention more to things than, than we do. But to refocus and say, 
that these will be the real things that actually cause us to be successful. Do you think emotion in a game like this can be an asset or detriment? I think it, it can always be. It just depends on who's who, who's wielding that. You know, uh, emotion in a, a player that understands that he's got to go do it. It could be a great thing. Um, but we talked to our guys all week about making the things um, that we really need to focus on the main things. And I want them to play with emotion. This game, you have to play with emotion, and we got to wield it in the right way at the right time. And that's that's the plan. Uh, thanks, so.